Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Earth to estimate the amount of solar power you could generate in your backyard or some other place. Let's go ahead and take a look at how you can do this. It's a new feature in Google Earth. I'm using the web version of Google Earth here. And let's start by just picking a location. Now, I'm going to go down and look in Maine here. And let's zoom in. Now, what's important to note is you can't do this for a large area. It needs to be a place that's you know, the size of a football field or thereabouts. Nothing bigger than that. Anything bigger than that. And it really doesn't work very well. Let's go and take a look down here. Let's say I see this nice little field here. And I want to figure out how much solar power could be generated down here on this grassy field that's next to this house. So to do this, what I'm going to do is use this new little feature, which you can see in this toolbar here. You can also go to Tools and select Explore Solar Feasibility. And then you'll draw your site. So I'm going to draw right here on this portion of the field. And it doesn't have to be a perfect square. You could you know, cut it off this way if you wanted to. And we'll see there's our perimeter and there's our area. Now for my Canadian friends or anyone outside of the United States uses the metric system, just to remind you, you can go into your tools and change your units of measurement to be the metric system. But now I'm going to click Generate in Delve. And you can use Delve for free for your first 15 uh, site studies or analysis. And we can see here's our financial assumptions. And you can change these out if you want to use other ones. But I'm going to use the default settings here. And I'm not going to sell the excess. I'm going to say not applicable here. And we can leave all these assumptions in for our default settings for right now. Now, if you have specific values that you want to use, of course, you can put those in there. But the default will get most people close enough to make an informed decision. Let's go ahead and now generate designs. And we're going to see here, it's now going to do a little study for us of that field that I just highlighted. And as you can see, it takes a handful of minutes. So we'll check back in just a moment and see what kind of power we can generate. And yes, we'll see that study has no designs. And that'll go away in just a moment. Yeah, there it is. It's right back there. All right, so now a handful of minutes have passed and Delve has created this study for me. And it will show me my solar energy potential of 126 megawatt hours a year up to 336 megawatt hours a year and its potential value. And again, you can go in here and see how those calculations have been created. You can download all of this and save it in your Google Drive if you would like to. And just quickly here, I'll show you my previous design. And here we have one with a little bit more uh, of a typical shape uh, than the one in my previous example over here. So you can go in here and then view all. And that's how I got to that particular design. You can see those are the buildings we had in our field originally. You can see those are the buildings. And our shape was here. And likewise, there's the buildings. And there is the shape. And of course, we want to go back in and view that in Google Earth. Click on Google Earth and we'll see that right there in Google Earth. And you can see that this can be exported as a KML file and that anyone will be able to see it for 
up to two weeks. If you don't want to make it public, you don't have to. You can just keep it to yourself. So that's a short overview of how you can estimate solar energy potential in Google Earth. For more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find many more Google Earth and Google Maps tutorials.